Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing an Aldi haul. This is my weekly shop that I do, um, obviously on a weekly basis. So yeah, um, I'm going to show you exactly what I picked up. I picked up a few things that I haven't tried before as well, so I just thought I'd share it with you. And yeah, so if you are new here, my name is Siobhan and I post videos three times a week. I post videos on DIY, home decor, lifestyle, motherhood, shopping hauls, cleaning, motivation videos. You name it, I'll do it. So if you want to join us, please hit that subscribe button and that bell button so you're notified when I next upload a video. So without further ado, let's get straight into the Audi haul. So I'm going to start off over here. Um, first thing that I picked up, well, I don't know if it was the first thing that I actually picked up, but anyway, I just got sweet potatoes here. Um, I'm going to make some sweet potato chips with those. Then moving on over here, we have normal potatoes, so that will be for jacket potatoes and for roast potatoes for our roast dinner this weekend, this Sunday. Then I picked up some white, um, the bake at home bread rolls, put them in the oven, absolutely gorgeous, butter, lovely warm roll, we love those. So I got those, you get four in a pack. Then I've got crisps over here, so standard, always need crisps in this house. So I've got massive back there, and I think it's like £2 something, so they're really, really good pricing for that. You get like 30 packs in there, and all those different flavours. Then I've got um, wraps, so this is going to be four for heaters, and so... I'll tell you in a minute because there's something else over there what we like to but we also like to make instead of having some normal sandwiches the kids will and me not just the kids but we'll all have like wraps instead so it's like a nice lighter choice um for lunch which I really like so we love wraps in this house then I've got pita bread um this is for my hummus and for if anyone wants any pita bread but generally is for my hummus then moving on over here, we've got our roast in the bag. That's going to be for this Sunday for our roast dinner. Roast chicken in the bag. Um, staying with the meat, I've got smoked bacon. We love smoked bacon rather than the normal one. Um, so, yeah, we're going to just have, obviously, bacon rolls or bacon sandwiches with those. Then we have mince, which we're going to have spaghetti bolognese with. And we like to have the one with 5% um, fat. So that's the lowest one you can get. Then we've got diced chicken. Um, we can make stir fry with that or something basically with chicken. Um, so yeah. Then I've got um, a steak here. Then I've got this bourbon barbecue chicken already marinated. I know this sounds really lazy. I could just do it myself, but I'm all about convenience over here. So um, this was really good. And again, it was only like two pounds. I can't remember how much exactly it was. Um, but it was really affordable anyway, and you get quite a lot of chicken in there. So we'll have one of that, some of that for one of our dinners. Then underneath here we have the beef lasagna. I love this beef lasagna out of Aldi. It's really, really good. It's in the fridge type of section. Like as you, in my shop, anyway, as you go in, you go up the first aisle right by the bits where it has sandwich stuff and all that. That's where this is. Um, and yeah, it's just convenient. It's a convenient meal to have, and it's really nice. Then over here, I've just got some cheese. Always need cheese in this house. Love mature cheddar. Um, so, yeah. Then over here, we've got onions. We've got red onions. We love red onions. Put that in a nice salad, all nice, or cook that up with the steak. And it's really, really nice. So we love red onions in this house. Then I've got um, button mushrooms. They are just for, um, again, for anything, really. But they're generally going to go with Jonathan's steak. And I like a little, I like um, mushrooms, fried mushrooms in a fried breakfast. Love that. Then we've got baby plum tomatoes. These are my favourite ones. Um, so, yeah, they can just go in with any sandwich or any sort of like to go in a chicken dish, anything like that we like to do. Then we've got strawberries. We know what strawberries are. Nice bit of fruit. Then we've got blueberries. These are really good um, prices. So I can't remember exactly what they were, but they're really good. They're, they're everyday essential ones and they taste just the same. Then we've got the split pots crunch. So we've got the yogurts. Um, again, it's like, what is the make of it? Is it Muller? Um, I can't remember. But yeah, it's the cheaper version of those. And they taste exactly the same. Everybody in this house likes those. And moving over to like, actually, let's go down here first. So here, I've got some just ice, chopped up iceberg. Again, I'm doing a massive salad. Put it in a bowl. 
And then I've got cucumber there with red onion, tomatoes and all that. And also peppers, got peppers here. Um, and then there's always a salad in the fridge. I like to do that a lot in the summer so that basically you can just grab some salad out and put it with anything, a sandwich or with a meal or anything like that. I love eating salad anyway. I'm just one of them people that love eating salad on its own. So then over here, we've got the frozen salmon fillets. You get five fillets in there and this was £3.99. So again, they were really, really good. Then here we've got Yorkshire puddings. Um, excuse my thing floating around there, but we've got Yorkshire puddings. These were really cheap. I think they were like 69p or something. And they taste just the same. You get 12. That's going to go with our roast dinner. Then we've got dippers, chicken dippers for when we have like a lazy meal for the children if it's a quick night. So on a Thursday we have swimming. So things like that or pizza um, is good to have because then it's a quick meal that I can make so that, you know, because we get back late from swimming and stuff like that. And usually Isabella is absolutely starving. Um, so And the kids, both of them are starving. So pizza my son loves. He's really fussy at eating. So I know that he'll eat a pizza. So I've got that too. And that was like 89p. Then I've got chips, again, to go with the quick meals, the quick kiddie dinners. Then I've got the frozen vegetable medley, just to have, you need that, for, I'll go have that for my roast. Um, Jonathan will have that with his meals, and I'll have it with mine and my children as well. So, yeah, just got that. Then I've got this. This is amazing. It's the vegetable and chicken um, fajita mix. This is quite a good little lunch idea because it takes 10 minutes to do, right? And I put it in my, obviously I've got wraps there. So that could be either a quick meal or what I do like to do is have that for lunches and stuff because I like, I love the heater mix. I love the heaters. So that was really good in the freezer section. Um, so I've showed you the cucumber and the peppers. Then up here I've got the um, apples. This was in that six, super six, is it? Something like that it's called. And they were like 89p or something. So I thought they were a bargain. Um, and my, my daughter loves apples. So does my son. But I have to chop it up for him, obviously. But yeah, my kids love apples. Then I've got some hummus here. Love hummus. And I have this with um, pita bread. So it's a nice, healthy snack, that. Um, we all like that. Then we've got here creamy coleslaw. I love coleslaw, especially when it's coming into the summer months now. I love it because I love it with everything. So yeah, I love a bit of coleslaw. Then we've got here for snacks, we've got some sausage rolls for the children and for ourselves, but generally for the children. Then we've got the cream crackers here. Um, my son loves eating these, um, and so does Jonathan. He has peanut butter on his, and so does my son, actually. My son loves it with peanut butter. Strange, I find it, but yeah, that's fine. Then over here, we've just got blue milk. My son goes through a lot of milk. Then here I've got the instant noodles. These are just good to have um, just for something quick if you fancy it. I love noodles. I'm a personal noodles fan. Then here for another snack thing, we've got the dip it, um, the little sort of Ritz style biscuits. Um, you get three in a pack there and they're just cheaper than the other ones. Um, and they're the ones that they do and they're really nice. My kids love those. Then here we've got uh, chocolate chip cookies, you get two packs in there, and everyday essential ones, they toast the same, lovely dipped in tea, so yeah, biscuits are a must in this house, as you may have seen from a previous Audi haul that I told you about, then we've got the goodie section, we've got a little bit of chocolate here, you know, it's the weekend, so coming up, so yep, got a nice little bit of chocolate, these are all so cheap, and they taste the same as Mars, Snickers, and Twix, so they're just your dupes for those brands, then here we've got eggs. Everyone loves eggs in this house, especially my son. He loves an omelette, so that's why obviously I've got eggs. You've got to have eggs in your house. Then here, over here, I've got the um, I've got bread. Again, it's really cheap. It tastes just the same as any other bread. Then here, I've got the baked beans. These are really nice, these beans, and they're 99p for a pack of four, so really affordable. Then over here, we've got the beloved peanut butter crunchy one that everybody loves in this house. And then I got some scourers, always get scourers, I think they were like 49p or something, so bargain. Then over here, I got the floor wipes, I got I get these every time I'm in there, I always stock up on these, they're so nice and so good at cleaning, so perfect. And I also don't just use them for the floor, I use them for everything else. I've just got dog food, um, my dog loves that food, and then down there, <clears throat> I've got the cat food as well. And then just here, we've got the shampoo which is about 89p 
and the conditioner to match, which is about 89p again. And then I've got the shower gel, which again, they're all absolutely fine. Used them loads of times. So I would recommend them. Then I've got this, the kids one, which I think again was about 89p. And this is just really good. It's like, you know, it's a bit like L'Oreal, but it's not. So yeah. So that is everything that I picked up in Aldi this week. So we got quite a lot. Um, and that will do us probably over a week, to be honest with you. So there is my Audi haul. So if you did like this video, at any point, please give it a big thumbs up. Spent about £70, but I did get dog and cat food in that. And I've got toiletries, shampoo, conditioner, um, wash stuff and all of that. So if you don't get that, I reckon this would have been about £60 for food. Um, if I didn't have all of the dog food and everything else and the cleaning stuff as well I've got cleaning stuff in that so 70 pound is really really good for a weekly shop Including things that I would normally get in a monthly shop So yeah, we done really well this week and if you did enjoy this video at any point Please give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button and that bell button So you're notified when I next upload a video So anyway, I'm gonna go for now and I'm gonna put my food shopping away and I'm gonna see you on my next video Bye